everyone. Today I'm talking to you about companion planting and I'm going to show you how to companion plant strawberries so that you have a more successful patch this year and so that you can deter pests. So I planted a strawberry patch this weekend in my front yard. I don't have a permanent spot for them so I've chosen to use grow bags. This is a 100 gallon grow bag. It's about um, 12 inches tall. And as you can see, I folded down the edges. Strawberries don't need a ton of depth. So I have the soil at about, oh, five to six inches. And I've got this one. I've got this one. And I had room because I bought 54 plants. So I'm gonna take you over to my kitchen garden. And here, I've also planted strawberries with my onions. Yeah, you can plant strawberries with onions. So companion planting is a very old technique. It's actually used to deter pests and to also provide other beneficial resources and nutrients from other plants. Or you can plant um, plants that have like similar nutrient uh, resources and watering needs. So that way um, they help each other out. And in this case, I had this onion patch and I really hate planting things in monoculture. So monoculture means that we plant just um, all of the same vegetables together. And the problem with this is that if you get some kind of blight or pest, it will eat your entire crop. So I had these onions here, I had um, some lettuce in there and actually it all bolted. We just got a really bad heat wave. So I just pulled that out um, and fed it to my chickens although you can also eat bolted lettuce, but I did not this time. So you can see my onions have been growing since December. They're looking nice. I have some straw in here just to keep it mulched and strawberries like that too. And then I went ahead and just spaced out my strawberries in this patch about every 18 inches. And these are Albion strawberries. So they're gonna be ready in about 60 to 90 days. So that's in two to three months. Today's February 14th, and our last frost date where I live in the Inland Empire at Southern California was February 1st. So now is about the right time to plant my strawberries. My onions um, will probably be done just right before, but strawberries are perennial. So I have made the decision to keep this as my permanent strawberry patch. So I will just have to plant um, other things in here that go with strawberries once my onions are done. So there's that, and then there's some nasturtiums. But you can actually plant all of the onion family with strawberries. So you can plant garlic, leeks. I actually just bought some leeks I'm gonna plant with my other strawberries. Uh, so here I have three different types of strawberries planted. I'm just gonna come down here so you can see better. So I have the Chandler Eversweet, um, and that's all I have in this bed. The Eversweet uh, supposedly, I think, will, um, be done in about 30 to 45 days. Let's just check that. Yeah, 30 to 45 days. And then the Chandler are gonna be done in about 60 days. So by growing different types of strawberries, I'm also prolonging my harvest. And then I have them spaced about every 12 inches in the grow bag. And I've planted soft neck garlic every six inches inside. So you can kind of see where I I still have some holes where I planted them. I'm just gonna cover those up. I swear something was digging in here, possibly. Um, and so, yeah, the garlic will be done in about the same time as my strawberries. And then what's great about grow bags is I can either move these if I want to in the middle, um, once they're done, I can, I can move them somewhere else. Th these are perennials, so again, they will, um, they won't die off, so I'll need to keep them. But if I wanted to move them, I certainly could until I find a more permanent spot for a strawberry patch. And then I have this bag over here, which is um, filled with Camarosa and the Chandler strawberries. So those are also a little bit of a, a longer time period. And then I'm gonna be starting some borage seeds. So borage has actually been shown in studies. There was a recent study in 2018 in England and um, they reproduced the study with civilians 
and it showed that by planting borage with your strawberries, you could actually increase the fruit size by 35% and the fruit yield by weight by about 32%. Pretty awesome. And borage is great for bringing beneficial pollinators. It also attracts wasps, which will then eat any predators on your strawberries. So totally awesome. You can buy these. Um, I have the, got these from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. I'm gonna start them first. And a friend of mine just told me about the milk jug method. So I'm gonna try that for seed starting this year. So I'm gonna start these first. And then when they're a little bigger, I'm gonna go ahead and plant them. So I'll just plant them around. And you can eat borage too. So the leaves actually taste like cucumber. I've had them before, they're really pretty. And then here's my soft nut garlic. So I'm in Southern California. I just got this at my nursery this weekend. Um, and of course, if you don't know how to plant garlic, you basically take these apart, plant the heads about four inches down, which is perfect for this bed here, and then just interplant them with your, your strawberries. I know some people online say that garlic is not good for strawberries, but from everything I've read, it actually prevents spider mites. And apparently in Russia, they plant garlic with their strawberries. And since I do have a big spider mite problem on my property, um, they always seem to hit my tomatoes at the end of the season. I definitely want to prevent that. So, um, and I've also never planted strawberries this close together. So I'm definitely gonna plant garlic in here. Um, also some leeks and then again, the borage and they're just going to make a nice little plant community because honestly that's how plants grow in nature right like they don't glow they don't grow in monoculture they actually grow in a system and what we want to do even in a grow bag is recreate that system so anyways that's all there is to know about strawberries and companion planting in terms of planting with the onion family and it's getting really bright out. It's gonna be like 89 degrees today in the middle of winter, I can't believe it. And then tomorrow it's gonna to drop down to 50. Totally crazy. But I did wanna tell you that you can also plant your strawberries with some other vegetables. So if you're looking at other perennial beds, you can plant them with um, asparagus and rhubarb. And then in terms of herbs, you can do the borage, you can also do thyme, you can also do chives and also peas and beans and lettuce do well with strawberries. I didn't plant them in these beds because it's gonna get a lot of sun and lettuce in my area actually grows better in the shade or in winter um, and not even then in full sun. So we have a really strong sunlight here and just depending on your area, you know it best. If you're able to grow lettuce into spring, then that would be awesome if you could plant it with your strawberries and then of course, you know, the lettuce will be done. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out the link to my Instagram where you can find a graphic of the strawberry companion plants and what I call um, strawberry adversaries, plants that you don't wanna plant around your strawberries. Thanks and have a great day.